Alright, I just got back from the beach and just wanted to make a video real fast about how to properly clean and dry a leg if you get it wet with uh, salt water. I mean, lake water is not really that bad, I don't think. You should still probably clean it, but salt water will do a lot of damage to your little components, like the nuts and the screws and the bolts and everything. So, um, this is a quick video showing the proper way to clean it, as I was taught, and um, I'm just going to try to pass it on to you. Um, your leg might be a little different than mine, so... If this doesn't apply to you, I'm sorry, but for anybody with the same type of setup as me, um, this is it. So, first you just got to remove the foot shell, and there's water coming out already. Um, so just remove the shell, and um, you're going to have some water in there you didn't really know was in there. I mean, like some sand and crap is coming out. Then you have probably a Spectra sock. Not everybody uses these, um, but if you do use a Spectra sock, um, it's going to be just wet and gross. So go ahead and take that off and get this out. Um, this is the bare foot. My sticker's peeling. Oh well. So anyways, just get that out. So This is real simple, obviously. Just rinse. All you gotta do is just rinse it off. Try to keep all this dry up here. You know, you're just trying to get off this in the metal. Just try to get the metal and everything and get like in between the spot. And we'll come back to that in a minute. And then you just gotta clean the spectra sock. Um, try to, you know, get it on the inside too. Ow, see? I don't know what the hell that is, but. Not the most comfortable. So I just rinse all this out. Fill this up. You know, all this is pretty much self-explanatory. You can see all the dirt that was in there. But um, this is all pretty self-explanatory, just kind of getting all the water, and all the salt water and crap out. And once you got that done, this is where it gets kind of intricate. Spectra sock, you can just let that dry. That's not a big deal. I mean, just let that dry as you would, you know, normally let something dry. Nothing special there. Your foot, though, you got to try to dry it as best as you can. Um, you don't want rust. It's not going to rust too much, but still, over time it will. If you're doing this frequently, you know, you want to make sure it's dry every time. So um, just get all the little spots. Um, you know, floss it down in there if you have to. Just do everything you can to get it nice and dry. I'm going to show you a quick trick once I do this how to really guarantee that it's dry all the uh, spots, like all the little crevices that you can't really get to. A very quick trick for how to make sure it's dry is the alcohol you use to put your liner on. You can then spray on it. And believe it or not, this is actually going to make it dry because as the alcohol evaporates, it's going to get all the extra liquid out too. So I'm just going to give it a quick help to try to make it evaporate a little faster. I'm going to actually wipe some of it off, get the excess out. But um, now I'm putting it right over an air vent. You probably don't have an air vent on the floor because I have a really old house. But most houses don't do that anymore. But anyways, um, there's that. For the foot shell, just try to shake it out as best as possible. The inside doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to be putting everything together in about, you know, in the next five minutes. It's going to be a little while before that's dry. And by the time that's dry, this will be dry. Trust me on that. So, um, this goes in here. Just kind of dry it as best as you can. You can put that upside down somewhere and just kind of let it sit. It's not going to, you know, really drain too much, but whatever. Well, it doesn't want to do it now, but whatever. There. Now, 
next thing that yeah, see this is I can't really show you with the camera but if I could this is completely dry now like all the spots everything it's as dry as can be it still has like almost like a little bit of a residue where the alcohol is still on but it's it's dry to the touch um, because I had my water come all the way up I was up to my waist in the water this got wet can't really do much for that it's already dried by now but I am going to clear my pump out and my valve yeah that was salt water that was gross <laughs> I did not think that through anyway alright I just blew all the excess out that I could that's pretty much the best you can do there um, that's not really much there so anyways um, this is pretty much dry now. Now the only thing that I'm going to do left for this is I'm just going to alcohol down the what was on the inside part. It's not really that big of a deal, but I just like to see like I can feel it on my hands. I don't know if you can see it at all. It's probably hard to see, but there was tiny little pieces of sand all up in there still that got pushed through with the water and then when the water evaporated out of here or dried, whatever it is, kind of got left behind. Tiny little pieces, very small, but enough that it will probably irritate you over time. And um, that's done. And that's just pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but a lot of my videos tend to be self-explanatory and they still end up helping people in the end, so I figured I'd make this one. Um, obviously, this is going to be put in the um, dryer. Wouldn't worry about washing it. I mean, you just washed it enough but I'm just going to throw it in the dryer. Um, not everybody uses Spectra socks though, so that might not apply to you. Um, the last thing that you can worry about are your socks. There's my, like I made in my previous videos, my five, my one, and my half. That's what I wear on a regular basis. You might want to go ahead and like rinse this off, but again, it's not that big a deal. I'm not really going to rinse it. I'm just going to rub it. Yeah, there was a little bit of sand. I could feel it in my hand. Yeah, you could see that a little bit better. So stuff you can't really tell is there until you go ahead and try, but um, that's the last thing. You don't even necessarily have to do that. If you really wanted to, you could take it all the way off and actually wash it, but I'm getting ready to go back out again with my wife. I'm just going to wear my other leg when this stuff is drying, so I don't want to take this all the way off. That's how quickly you can clean your leg. So, all right, hope that helps.